All right, for this we complete the course, JavaScript Objects and Prototypes in depth. We've taken an in-depth look at objects in JavaScript. We've learned what constructor functions do in JavaScript, how to call a function in a constructor mode. And we also learned how, what are the different ways in which you can call functions in JavaScript. We learned four different ways and how that affects the this reference in all those different approaches. And then we took a look at prototypes in JavaScript, how you can create prototypes and affect the functionality of various objects so that you don't essentially have to build behaviors into each object, which would essentially be a waste when you're having multiple copies of functions. So we learned how the prototype chain works and how each property reference on objects is influenced by the concept of a prototype lookup. So hopefully this course was helpful in your understanding of objects and prototypes. I highly recommend as reference the series of books called You Don't Know JS, written by Kyle Simpson. I will provide the link to those books in the description. These books are actually available in electronic form on GitHub for free. And on the GitHub page, you also have links to purchase these books in paper form. I have referenced these books multiple times and I highly recommend you go through them as a follow-up for this course. And uh, hopefully this course with those books will significantly help in your JavaScript journey. So thanks again for taking this course. This was JavaScript Objects and Prototypes in depth.